So it was only going to be a matter of time before this actually happened. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered is now becoming standalone. Although at the price Activision in my mind can go and get fucked for all I care. So last year Activision included a remastered version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered with every copy of Infinite Warfare. Now, as you know, myself included, I just wanted to buy Modern Warfare Remastered, but the only way you could get that last year was to buy the Infinite Warfare Legacy Bundle, I believe, where it came with Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. But now you have an option to get Modern Warfare Remastered standalone, and it's going to cost you $40 or in the UK, Kotaku has it down as £35. I think it'll be more like £31, £32. Which, for a remastered game, with what you're getting, is absolutely atrocious, in my opinion. Now, on June the 27th, will be available. the game will be available both physical and digitally for the PlayStation 4. With other platforms to follow. I'm guessing Activision are still using this marketing deal that they got with Sony. So it'll come out for the PS4 first. And obviously it comes with a campaign and 16 multiplayer maps. Now, Activision did release the variety map pack later on. You would immediately think with a remastered you get all the map packs with it. But you actually have to pay separately for this. It's $15 or £11.59. They're not actually including this with the standalone version. So if you were to buy the standalone version, then get the variety map back. It's basically, basically the price of a new game. And this is kind of worrying. I, I, I wouldn't go anywhere near Modern Warfare Remastered in my opinion. Especially the multiplayer. Multiplayer is just absolute shit. With the exception of I believe Search and Destroy. Where it seems to be alright there. But the rest of it is just absolute crap. Basically I'm going to tell you what happened when I played Modern Warfare Remastered. I played through the entire campaign and played for the multiplayer. What I did straight after that. I went up to my spare room. Got my Xbox 360, set it up, got the original copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare and played through that because that was more enjoyable than playing Modern Warfare Remastered. Especially considering this is a 10 year old game, they've now whacked microtransactions into the game and then they had the gold to charge for the variety map pack. Now as you know, Remastered's 99.99999 percent of the time comes with every single bit of dlc the one example i always bring up is borderlands the handsome collection where you got borderlands a pre-sequel uh, you got borderlands 2 and you got every single bit of dlc that came with it and i'm actually on the argos app right now i will show you exactly how much that game costs right now it did release originally at 44.99 so that was cheaper the Modern Warfare Remastered is going to cost if you were to buy everything. And this is what worries me. What if other publishers sees what Activision are doing and using their greed and being complete fucking assholes, in my opinion, to have the nerf to just sell the game standalone and then have the nerf to charge for the extra maps on top? I'm worried that other develop uh, publishers are going to see this and then jump on that bandwagon. But I got Borderlands Handsome Collection now. If you were to pick it up in the United Kingdom from Argos, with all that, you would only have to pay eleven ninety nine. So the price of the variety map pack, and obviously with Borderlands a Handsome Collection, you get a shit ton more. But I hope to God no one actually considers buying this. Or if you do, wait for it to drop. If it drops to some like twenty quid, wait till it drops to like where you can, where you get the variety map pack on top of that, because. This is a 10 year old game, it shouldn't have the microtransactions that they have that Activision nickels and dimes you for every penny. The fact that they charged the variety map pack on top of the Modern Warfare Remastered to me is absolutely disgusting. i got to be honest, it's typical Activision, they try every way. Yes, at the end of the day they have a business, they got to make money, but they don't have to do these stupid anti-consumer practices. Which, in my opinion, is anti-consumer. It is anti-gamer. And you basically being a bunch of dicks about it. But this is James Boy logging off. You guys take care.